Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the default apps or programs in Windows 10. So let's get started. Once you're on your desktop, click on the Start Menu button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and type in the word Default and click on the option that says Default App Settings. And here, when the screen pops up, note that this is the default app section wherein it's asking you to choose the default apps. Right now, I want to change the music player that has been designated as the default app on my system. Right now, Windows Media Player is the designated default music player and I want to change it to VLC Media Player. Simply click on this and select the app that you wish to use as a default application. In my case, I'm going to select VLC Media Player by clicking on that. And as you have seen, it has now updated the Windows Media Player to VLC Media Player. And likewise, you can change the default application for any other purpose as well. So for example, the default mail application is a Windows 10 mail application. To change it, simply click on it and select any other email application. In my case, it's the Thunderbird that I want to select. So I'm going to click on that. And from now on, Windows 10 will use Thunderbird as a default application. So likewise, there are more applications which you can go through and then you can tweak them as you see fit. You can also choose default apps by the file type. So if you want to do that, you can click on this. And now it shows you list of all the applications that are installed on the system and you can choose a default application for each of them. So let me just give you a quick example. VLC Media Player is being used to open any file with the format 3GA. Likewise, Windows 10 is using Movies and TV app for the 3G2 files. If I want to use VLC Media Player to open the 3G2 files, I'm going to click on this and then choose VLC Media Player and it's going to update it. So from next time, whenever I try to launch a 3G2 media file, it's going to use VLC Media Player to play the video. Likewise, you can go through the list of all the options available here and change them as you see fit. Now let's go back. And here, there is another option that says choose default apps by protocol. Click on that. So in this example, in order to open an Acrobat protocol, right now the default app is the Adobe Acrobat Reader DC on my Windows 10 system. In order to change it, simply click on that and choose another app. If you don't have other apps, you can look for other apps in the Windows Store by clicking on the look for an app in the store button here. And it will look for other apps that you can use to open this kind of protocol. So right now there's nothing here, so I'm gonna exit this, but I hope you get the idea. So likewise, we can go back. And the last option is the set defaults by app, click on that. And here it says set your default programs. So for example, if I click on the Adobe Acrobat Reader DC option, it shows you this box and it shows you the button that says manage, click on that. And it shows you the file type and protocol associations that are linking the Adobe Acrobat Reader DC with all the file types here. So consider this as an index wherein you can just change the file association in just one go. So if you want to change it, simply click on this and it's going to ask you to choose an app and then you can choose an app. So for example, let's go back. Now let's look at the associations for this app called Group Music. Simply click on that and click on manage. So right now, Groove Music is opening the file extensions such as AC3, ADT, and EC3, and likewise. So in order to just change that, I can just simply click on that and use VLC Media Player on it or any other player that I want to use. So likewise, here you can manage your file associations and the respect to app that you want to use to open that kind of a file. So those are the four ways in which you can manage the default applications and their respective file associations in Windows 10. If this video was helpful, please show your support by leaving a like, comment and share the video on social media. Subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.